Hi, I'm Phil Anderson, and I'm running for United States Senate to represent Wisconsin. As you know, the three themes of my campaign are peace, prosperity, and privacy. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about peace in a general sense. What would a libertarian foreign policy look like? What will I advocate as your senator for what our foreign policy should be as the United States of America? And the first and foremost thing I would advocate for is free markets. Let's get rid of embargoes and, and uh, different ways that we constrict our trade with other countries and other peoples, other nations. Make it as open as possible. And this would accomplish a couple of things. Number one, free markets tend to make people more prosperous. And prosperous people, people that are making money and are connected to other parts of the world in terms of trade and commerce, are less likely to be dependent on and therefore abused by their government. So if we help people around the world in various nations be more prosperous, have more trade, have more access to the outside world, then they're more likely to not be oppressed because they've got options. They can leave. They've got connections. Conversely, uh, and also with that, they're less likely to think poorly of us. Right now, our foreign policy generally consists of intervening militarily across the world in various ways or putting embargoes or sanctions on other countries, which end up not harming the government so much as they do harm the people. So it makes it very easy for people around the world to hate us or think poorly of the West or America or whatever as people that are greedy and don't care about the welfare of people around the world, when in fact the opposite is true. As Americans, we care deeply about other people, all other people. That's part of who we are. That's part of our DNA. So the way that we should show that and share that is by whatever we need to do to keep free markets, to keep markets open. That's lower, lowering embargoes, lowering tariffs, keeping everything free and open. So it accomplishes two things. Number one, the people around the world are less likely to be abused by their governments because they are more prosperous and have more connections to the outside world, more information is flowing around the world about potential abuses by governments. And also, they're more, li more likely to think highly of us and be connected to us and be more understanding with us and not only the Americans, but also uh, Western society, Western civilization, um, in a way that will make them less likely to be marginalized and to be radicalized into people that may do us harm and want to go to war against us. So... In, a, in two words, actually, foreign policy under libertarianism is free markets. Free markets equal free peoples. The free peoples are more prosperous, less likely to be abused. Thanks, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.